What is up, my Zim community? It's Diadem37 here, bringing you another Zim configuration tutorial. And this time it's going to be for Battlefield 4. An oldie but a goodie. Still still a pretty fun game to play, if I do say so myself. Um, so before we jump into the configuration, there's going to be a few points that I want to make. So first and foremost being that this configuration works on all DPI values, especially between 3200 and the 25,000 mark. You don't need to have a 25,000 DPI mouse to use this configuration. I'm going to have the mathematical equations below in the description, so make sure to read that if you're using a lower DPI value. I also wanted to note that if you're on PlayStation, on top of that uh, value to know you're probably going to have to multiply the sensitivity by two as uh, I was doing research this past two weeks I found out that the PlayStation controllers are 8-bit analog signals and the Xbox controllers are 16-bit analog signals so that's why uh, there were some discrepancies with the configuration on PlayStation being slower my previous configurations being slower on uh, PlayStation so I just thought that was worth mentioning um, for this build, like always, the benchmark is going to be the 25,000 DPI. So let's jump right in. So the in-game settings, I followed Zim's suggestion on their website. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. There wasn't a lot of stuff to play with. All the dead zones are as described here. Actually, I don't even think you have a dead zone setting. But regardless, sensitivity at 100%, zoom sensitivity at 200%, pretty straightforward. Now, it's the in-app or the Zim Manager settings. Uh, th this game had a wicked strong aim assist. Like It was almost up there with Call of Duty and, and the slowdown and the sticky. So uh, what I did here is the hip is going to be at 3.50 at default with a smoothing of 10. And our boost value is going to be 12. That was just, it was a sweet spot for me because anything after 12 and you, you lost your fine aim, you weren't going over individual pictures. You were almost jumping two or three at a time. And the simulate analog behavior it was a bit of a balancing act for this one because I still wanted to feel the aim assist. I just didn't want it to be overwhelming. So that's going to be at 25. And most builds, I actually don't even use the simulate analog behavior. Most of the time they're off because with this uh, DPI value so high, I almost don't need them. But testing this at 3200 DPI, you almost lost uh, a bit of it with the boost so high. So this this was what I came up with to work for all of the DPI values. Uh, so just something worth noting. In the aim down sights or ADS settings, we're going to have two as the sensitivity. Uh, again, synchronized is going to be at default, no ballistic editor. Uh, but the smoothing this time was going to be at 15. And it, it had some interesting effects, especially when I paired it with the simulate analog behavior, which I'm going to touch in a second. So the smoothing is going to be at 15. The boost, once again, is going to be at 12 because it's going to still keep that nice, precise, fine aim, but allow you to break into this aim assist bubble. And guys, it's sticky. Like <laughs> It almost is aimbot. It's, it's pretty bad, but I know a lot of you out there like having a strong aim assist in these types of games. So... The, how I how I managed to get that was with the simulate analog behavior at 96 paired with the smoothing at 15, and then you're gonna have the boost at uh, 12. So you're actually gonna have full control in that aim assist bubble if you really choose to have control in it. But if if you just if you just want to guide your mouse, man, it it sticks, and you're gonna be landing some wicked shots in this game as you're gonna see in the game footage. Uh, something worth noting: if you are running on lower DPI values, so let's say 3200. Uh, that's going to be our, our benchmark for the lowest side of the DPI spectrum here. Chances are your smoothing is going to only need to be at like, I'm going to say zero for hip, maybe three for ADS with the simulate analog behavior at these numbers. If you're running anywhere between, let's say, eight and 12, you're probably going to be at five to seven for the ADS smoothing, three on the hip. And if you're running between my specs here, so 16 to 25, it can be anywhere from the 10 to 15 mark. Again, smoothing at higher DPI values, 
even at lower DPI values. But the problem is with lower DPI values is you actually get a, a spongy feeling. And what I mean by that is when you move your mouse, your your aim cursor almost can lag behind if the smoothing is too high, right? So spongy, you know, you sponge the mouse in and your cursor doesn't quite follow it. That's what I mean by that when you hear me say spongy. Um, so just something worth noting. That's why you're going to need less smoothing. But at higher DPI values, it actually uh, tweaks how strong your aim assist is. So if you like the setting and you just want to reduce the aim assist strength, you can actually just drop the smoothing and not touch the simulate analog behavior. Well, guys, like always, I hope this video helped. Make sure to hit the like button if it did. And make sure to comment on more games that you would like configurations for. I hope you enjoy the game footage. I had a lot of fun making this one. It was really, really solid games that I had. And I will catch you in the next videos. Thank <laughs> you.